Hi, my name's Rob Davis, Head Golf Professional at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa in Worcestershire and today we're going to be doing a video on gear effect, getting you to understand what happens when you hit it off different parts of the club face. Let's raise your game. Okay, so today we're going to look at what we call horizontal gear effects. So what happens when we strike the ball towards the toe portion of the club or the heel portion of the club. Um, first thing that happens when you hit the golf ball a bit off centre towards the toe is that the club face is going to twist open or to the right, um, assuming you're right handed. But the golf ball is actually going to track or curve the opposite direction. So you'll see the face twist to the right and the ball may start to the right but curve back towards the left. Vice versa, the heel strike, the club face is going to close, turning to the left and the golf ball is going to curve off to the right. It can also counteract your ball flight laws if you like. So if your swing path is coming from in to out with the club face close to that path, the centered strike is going to make that ball draw. A heel strike will really overrule that. So if you're struggling with your ball flight, then you really need to pay close attention to your impact locations. Um, we're going to measure a few shots on the track man now uh, and put a, a face label on the club so you can see where the strike's coming out of and, uh, and see what effects it has on the ball flight. Okay, so what you can see I've done here is put a face label on the club and it's something I would definitely advise you do in your practice or we'll use some spray that will leave a, a little imprint of where you've struck the golf ball on the face. Um, and I'm going to attempt to try and strike this shot towards the toe portion of the club and we'll have a little look at the ball flight and see what happens. I'm going to dress it slightly more towards the toe and see if we can hit it a little bit that side. And so you can clearly see I struck that out of the toe of the club. We're going to have a look at the Trackman numbers here and you'll see a very neutral path of 0.1 degrees and a face angle that's nearly 5 degrees open. So it's only the toe strike that's caused the ball to draw. Now normally I draw it anyway, um, so that flight isn't a problem for me, but if I'm trying to perhaps hit that draw and strike it this side of the club, we're not really going to see the desired ball flight. So this time I'm going to try and strike the ball towards the heel portion of the club, still keeping my path pretty neutral and face fairly neutral. Obviously there's going to be a degree of twisting close, so the ball I would expect to start left. Let's see what happens with this one. Ooh, definitely a higher spinning shot that. definitely hit that out the heel of the club you can see the twist closing at impact but then the ball starting to curve off to the right there's the impact location the trap man numbers are actually reading one degree from the inside and the face angle four degrees closed technically a centered hit that's going to start left and go further left but the heel strike has caused the ball to curve in the opposite direction Higher spin rate too, definitely not one you want on the course. No, 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 no. If you're working on trying to hit a draw but it's just not quite happening for you, there's a good chance that this could be happening. I've created pretty big draw to target numbers here with a club path that's swinging from 8 degrees into out and a face angle that's 4 degrees open, so it's close to the path. A centered hit. That's going to curve nicely right to left to target, but on this occasion I struck it deliberately towards the heel of the club just to show you that if you're not hitting it in the right place, you're not going to get your desired ball flight. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please subscribe to the new channel, uh, post your comments down below, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that I can. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and uh, we've got lots more great content coming your way very soon.